this would be a sniper fighter, but they know only one player was that digger. Lana was able to chip him. They have to down this player. If they down him, that's huge. And I think he actually was able to down him. So now it is a 2v2. Lala Man making huge plays with that sniper, getting headshots, chipping players to be able to cross them. Who says the sniper is useless, guys? Right here, Lala Man. So Lala Man Jr. is doing big things to the sniper, able to even up the odds finally for his squad. But let's see if he can win at the round. I know Strangulate at Winterball 9 went huge with the sniper, getting two headshots on Gambler and PR. So let's see if Lala Man can replicate that. He knows there's one player up top, is able to chip the player up top, but unfortunately is 440 himself, so he cannot push it. Trying to get support fire from his, t from his teammate, and Snows does have a sniper also. So this is a 1v1 sniper battle if they choose to do so. And no, Snows will not. He's just trying to look for a different angle, try to get a headshot on either Classic or Lala Man. So Lala Man's going to have to rely on the call-ups from his teammates to know exactly where the sniper is because he does not want to give up to get the leverage that he's holding over his opponent. So right there, I actually want to hop on board WR Snows now because he also has a sniper in hand. So let's see what let's see what the other side does with it. So Lala Man got two Lala Man got two big kills thanks to the sniper. So let's see if Snows can uh, can do exactly what Lala Man did or if Lala would just show that he's a better sniper. Okay, and a little stalemate situation. Snows tried to go for a little cheeky headshot right there through the crack, but unfortunately was not able to land it. So now, Lalaman was able to get out of there, and again, we're just seeing a very... Old Town can be a very slow map, unfortunately. It, it sucks, but it's true. Like, at Winter Ball 9, you saw, like, four... I know VXC. VXC did a 45-minute Old Town against, uh... I forgot which team, but they did a 45-minute Old Town. Like, I know the people... By the time that map was over, people hated Old Town. Like, no one likes playing this map anymore. It'd be so slow and so tedious like it is. There's 40 seconds left, so I anticipate an all-or-nothing push by one of the players. And there's three snipers in play. Classic now has a sniper in his hand. Let's see if he can do something with it. I want to hop in for Classic, see if he can get a little last-minute headshot and try to win his team the game, or the round, I mean, and put himself back into the lead. So again, 25 seconds left. Not really much going on. There are, I think, almost every member on the map has a sniper <laughs> except one. He's all. I've been following Lava the, the whole time the too because Lava. I'm just so nervous. If I oh, if I take it away from yeah. Lava and he gets a headshot and I don't get on stream, everyone in the stream is like, "We hate you." <laughs> like, you know, I. <laughs> I mean, if if you miss if you miss oh, the headshot, you can play yeah. me. Yeah. There goes another snipe shot, and we'll yeah. be still made around. Still tied up, two to two. Like I said, that at the end of there, it just kind of came up to a sniper battle. No one wanted to poke their heads out. So everyone just kind of played it smart that round. But now we're going into a boom round. These boom rounds have gone by surprisingly fast. Unfortunately, not in Lala Man's favor. Let's see, if they choose to, uh, let's see if they choose to change it up. I actually want to hop on board. I want to hop on board Lala Man. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I, don't. Yeah. I want to hop on board Phobias. I want to hop on board Phobias because he is first, first team. So let's see what he does. We're seeing a 3-1 from both squads. Phobias is four-pointed. There's one player that automatically pushed in there. He's going to be able to grab the boom shot. Oh, now has boom yeah. Out of his mind, but he was able to down a player at top cubby. One boom shot out. Was not able to connect with it. Classic able to jump one with that ink, but Kivo responding with a kill of his own with that boom Phobias shot. Phobias got to go. 3v3, but there's still one boom shot left in play for the Locust team. So now I want to hop on board That's Kivo. That's all four. boom. That one last boom shot. He just shoot it. Was not able to connect with the kill. And now Snows has incense. So I want to hop on board. I want to hop on board Snows now because now he is. He is the one to have the potential to make this game into his favor. Right here, Snow is just kind of wall bouncing around Torpo, looking for players. Doesn't see anyone yet, so now he's going to... I think he wants to go that Torpo. Right there, you see Lala Man actually coming out of nowhere with his Lancer. And down goes, out goes both incense, not able to connect with either of them. Very unfortunate played by Snows. If he, was able, if he threw that incense just a little bit farther, he would have killed Lala Man. And same with the, uh, same with the second incense. He would have got a double kill right there. But unfortunately, he threw him just a little bit too short. Now Lala Man has Torpo, so I want to hop on board Lala Man, who has the power weapon. We were just switching between we were just switching between players this round because everyone's just taking turns grabbing weapons. Wait, who am I hopping the ball with? Lava? Right here, Lava. Lava, I kept thinking Lava, lava like, man. oh my lava god. Man. <laughs> yeah, Lava Man, because he has Torpo, so the round is, uh, the round's pretty much up to him because he has the potential to try to bring this thing into his favor. But right here, we're seeing yet another stalemate situation. You have one player at Torpo. You have, actually, you have two players at Torpo now. You have one Locust at top. And one Locust at top mid, and you have two players at boom shot. So, all the Locusts are doing are just banking on the boom shot to return. And I think Lala Man, I think Lala Man and friends already know that, so they're starting to make their rotation up top, trying to single this player out. But Florida is saying, hell no, I'm not going to get killed like that. So now he's rotating back to his team. Lala Man Jr. tried to go for a little one shot right there, but of course, Florida was playing it smart. He didn't want to take the 1v or the 2v1 against Glass and Lala, so all he, did was just had to, all he had to do was just roll back to his team, and that's exactly what he did. Right here, Lala Man trying to see if he can land these torque blows, but no one in sight, unfortunately. Still has actives and intents are back up, so Lala Man can pick these up and try to get and try to intend the player that's gonna pick up in, that's gonna pick up boom shot. 
right here, Lala Man does still have incense. Let's see if he can make plays with them. Unlike unlike Snow. Unfortunately, Snow did have both incense, but he wasn't able to. He wasn't able to connect with the kill. Right now, the locusts are moving up very slowly right now. As you can see, if we actually go to Snow, he's actually trying to make the play. Right now, he has a little little cross going on right now, but there is nothing he can do. He's actually run away as we have two Turk balls being wrapped up at the moment. I think Lala, I think Lala Man's out of Torque now, so now I want to hop on board. I want to hop on board Classic. Hop on board Classic, if he has a Torque now. Let's see what he can do. He was able to get a nice little blind fire before he got Lancer down at, uh, on Hotel. So let's see if he can actually do something without... I know Snack is commenting, guys, but I want to see some hashtag giveaways in the chat room. If At least about 100 of them. Let's go. Fill it up. Don't stop doing it. Let's go. 15 bucks is going to be on the line after this match. All right. All right, guys. So I want to I want to actually switch boards to... I'm going to switch force to Kivo 4, only because he's at the boom shot, so he's in the best position to try to get it, but he does know there's a player right there at the mid wall to cross him down if he tries going for it, so it looks like we're seeing yet another stalemated situation. None of these torques, none of these torques are connecting. I don't think Lollaman is throwing incense yet, but now you see Lollaman right there in bottom cubby with incense out, throwing one incense. is not able to connect, just threw it a little bit too far to the right. How unfortunate Kivo 4 is able to get out of there with his life, but at the cost of giving Lollaman Jr. the boom shot, so we are sticking on board with Lollaman. He's just grabbing all the power up at this game. Right there, you see Torx, you have Boom Shots, oh. you have Nuka oh. Lancers, like everything's just not in Snow's favor. And Lala Man actually across the map booming his own teammate. He boomed his own teammate from across the map while he was down, but it's okay because he makes up for it with the kill. So now it is a 2v2, but that was a very unfortunate play. Lala Man shouldn't have done that. He knew the player was going to go down anyway, so that Boom Shot was just kind of reckless, and he definitely paid for it. So... Lala Man still has one more boom shot left, but there's only a minute left in this round. So let's see if uh, let's see if Lala Man can make some plays with this. Florida actually kill Florida actually getting torque post. I want to hop on board Florida. Let's see what he can do with torque post because it's a very it's a it's the sniper of this yeah, round. Oh that yeah. So Florida is kind of turning back and can get a torque post here and there, but there's only 30 seconds left. So those. So I'm not really expecting to oh, kind of know yeah. that he out of nowhere, see if he gets lucky with it. And oh, you know, yeah. You have one player in mid, you have one COG member in mid, you have one COG member at top dig, or at top uh, boom shot, and Florida is just staying alive at this point. <laughs> but a lot of the men of them were actually, were, did actually do something right. They were able to change up their strats so they didn't lose boom round like in 30, in 30 seconds like they have been. And right there, you saw Lala Man just get completely obliterated by Florida. But it doesn't matter because... Povius was able to stay alive, and he will be up yet another stalemated sit another stalemated round. So it is still oh, two boy. to two. I, 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 honestly, guys, this is why tournaments do last long because these stalemates. We don't like stalemates. Again, you guys heard it. The team I'm sponsored, VXC, 45 minutes on the Old Town. No one likes Old Town, so they're trying to add new maps to actually get the flavor in. Honestly, the seven round rule should be applied. I actually didn't really enforce it. Uh, normally, when I do it or do not enforce the rule, I do not actually just put it forth. I'm not enforcing the seven round rule. It's a free entry tournament. But on buy in events, it will stay on top for the seven round rule. It will be. I do apologize if it's inconvenient to you. But come on, guys, it's old town. We all know. We all know what's going on. Exactly, and right there, that was a very questionable play. I'm going to hop over with Snows because he does have snipers, so let's see if he can make some plays with it. But that was a very questionable play by Juan. I don't know why he just straight up went went and picked up, uh, he went and picked up Naze with like with no smoke, with no cover, with with nothing. Like he just pretty much said, hey, kill me, and that's pretty much what happened. Snows tried to get that headshot on Lala while he was picking up Digger, but of course he was not able to connect. So it is still a 3 4 situation in favor of Team DNR. But yeah, Juan, Juan shouldn't have done that. He just put his team in a very bad position while... By doing that, I'm, I know he probably he probably thought no one was there, but you know you still it's still a very questionable play to do to pick up anything you know without confirmation that no one's there that you'll get picked up or something. Right here, you see Snow is just rotating with Kivo four at bottom mid, and again we're just seeing or Florida, my fault, Florida, and we're just seeing yet another still win around. Like none of these teams want to push. I think Lala Man has Digger. Yeah, Lala Man has Digger, so it's up to him to lead the push. He can easily force one of these players out of position along with one of his teammates and then just put just cross him down or, you know, try to get a one shot or something. I think he's trying to direct his teammate to know exactly where he know exactly where he wants him to go. Shooting that little cover right there and then he's gonna get ready for a push. 
So again, not really much going on. You have two, you have two locust members at bottom mid, and you have one at bottom pistol. Lollaman still digger in hand. He is with Charles Broccoli, so they could attempt to make the push. If Lollaman shoots the digger at bottom, at bottom, uh, bottom snub, then they can make that, they can make that push. They force him out of position. He can't cross him down anymore. Right there, smoke goes out, but they're not really capitalizing it. Now Diggers goes out, Florida forcing, forced to move out of there. But Lollaman is four point out of his mind, is able to escape barely within an inch of his life. Remember guys, it's just tiebreaker rounds, so and this is why these players are playing like this. They don't want to lose to some like some mistake or anything or some unorthodox push. And right there you see all all three members of WR the project just getting lanterned down. Kivo Forward trying to do everything he can to stay alive. Lollaman coming on the super flank right there with his pistol out getting ready to cross these players. But Kivo Forward making a huge play on Phobias. Will he be able to pick him up? Yes he will, and there you saw it. You saw Phobia just go, or Kivo 4 just go huge, but it doesn't even matter because that's two members down. Charles Baku will be able to clean up oh. Lollaman looks like he got, he got mantle kicked, but Lollaman able to win that round. I don't know what happened. Lollaman got mantled. He got mantled, but he didn't fly back. He just stood there in the cover, and I think his, the uh, the player that mantled him was like, what the hell? So he turned around, tried to shoot him. Lollaman, I think, ate the shot, and then was able to kill him as he tried to climb back over cover. So it is now 3-2 to two in favor of Team DN. Team DNR. This is potential game point if they don't if they don't choke up. So now I want to hop for WR Florida, who is front spawn for his team. Let's see what he can do on this boom round. We're seeing a 3-1 boom shot from both teams. Right there, you see Kilo 4 already ready to pick up the boom shot. Florida there for the pickup in case he needs it. And now they're going to be getting out of there with boom shot. So I want to hop for Kivo 4, who is the power weapon player for this team. Right there, Kivo. So right there, Kivo 4 does have boom shots. Nose has torque boost. So that is two power weapons. As opposed to, I don't, I don't even think Lava Man and them even have one to their name. I don't think they picked up incense, or it would, I don't think they were able to pick up nades or anything. No, they weren't. Incense are still right there at the middle of the map. So right, so WR looks like they're in all, you know, they had the potential to win this round and bring it to, uh, I guess, a technical round seven. But <clears throat> again, we're just seeing another stalemated situation. The cock, the cock team has no map control. They have no power weapons. Like there's nothing they can really do. So it's all up to the Locust to be as aggressive as they can. They have Torque Bow, they have Boom Shot, they have Numbers. Like, this is where they have to show the aggression. Why are they scared? When you have Boom Shot, you play like your dick is big. That is exactly how you play it. Use the language. But now I want to hop over Kivo 4, who still has Boom Shot in hand. I don't know what he's doing. He's just kind of shooting off into the... Kind of shooting off into nothing. Just, I guess, getting active. But like I said, this is where the Locust team has to communicate with each other and say, you know what, I got boom shot, you got torque bow, let's do something. Let's flood this side of the map. Let's flood that side of the map. Let's push down middle and try to get these incense. Let's do something. These players aren't going to push us. We like we have everything over them, so what reason do they have to push? Unfortunately, none, unfortunately, none of these players are dead either, so they don't have like the, the ghost can to tell exactly where all these players are. But if you look in the overhead map, you'll see that all four members of the cock squad are down low. Like I said, they have nothing to their name. They don't have a torque bow. They don't have a boom shot. They don't even have incense. I think they have an ink, but what's that going to do against two power weapons that are looking straight at you? And then you see Florida getting another torque bow. So that is two torque bows in play, and it looks like Kiva 4 is finally going to be leading the push towards this boom shot side, and that is two boom shots and two torque bows. All members of the Locust team are heavily armed, so this is where they have to be super aggressive. That is six kills. That is six... That is... That is 16 <laughs> kills. Potentially. That is 16 kills to their name. Because you add the five torque bows, and then you add the, the three boom shots to each one. That is 16 kills to their name. So now, I'm still sticking on board Kivo 4, who, had, who got the initial boom shot, because... I don't see why the Locust has any reason to not push. They have everything. They have literally everything. Right there, you see Kibo finally shooting a boom shot. Was not able to connect with it, unfortunately, but the player did actually go down, so Classic goes down. So just like that, it is a 3v4 situation. I want to hop on board Lava. I want to hop on board Lava Man Jr., who is trying to push the 1v at mid, but he actually tried to go for the wraparound shot, missed, and Florida is going to team kill his opponent, who, his teammate, who actually just got up after I think a round seven. Lava Man Jr. So now I see a round two seven. <laughs> situation leaving broccoli and phobias all by themselves against two boom shots and a torque bow or actually against one boom shot and two torque bows because juan did have one boom shot and right there charles broccoli is oh! avoid that one, but torque bow is in front of him and he will be able to die to the splash damage so great play by florida leaving phobias all by his lonesome in the 1v3 Tor boom shot is out of the equation so he doesn't have to worry about that but he doesn't have to worry about the numbers game the lancers the torque bows the and just like that seven. we're going into a technical this is gonna be this round it. seven these two teams will play so cautious and it sucks that it's like this. 
It's been going on for like 28 minutes, bro. We've been in this match for 28 minutes. That's what sucks the most. But it 